What he's done this time has just gone way too far. He's faked his girlfriend's death for views and sympathy. I, I just still can't believe this actually happened. That's some fresh bullshit. Just the acting alone is enough for anyone to see how fake this is. This is no normal reaction to your girlfriend passing away. I mean, he's the trashiest person, not on YouTube, but possibly alive. Right, guys, back with another 3 a.m. challenge. As you guys know, my girlfriend Alexia just passed away in a tragic accident, guys. Nah, I, I'm a f up. He is so obsessed with money that he even did this to his past girlfriend. He is the least self-aware YouTuber on the planet. Okay, uh, have you heard of Jay Station? Because I'm gonna uh, do a little um, cliche here and say, if you haven't, you are very lucky. Everybody says that, uh, but it's true. J, J Station is probably one of the most despicable people I've seen on the internet, and that's saying a lot. J Station, or uh, Jason, is a pretty awful person. J Jason is um, a Canadian YouTuber who, who specializes in like the 3 a.m. challenge things or, where it's like don't uh, call this person at 3 a.m. Don't play a Ouija board at 3 a.m. Jay uh, is known for being pretty awful. Uh, he made videos saying like I called Etika at 3 a.m. the day after he died. He also did it with X, like the day after he died, and Mac Miller. So he, he, he's done it before with celebrities, and it's awful, right? It's just, it's despicable, it's disgusting. He's a scumbag. In fact, I actually, I have something for him. It's, can you, I don't know if you can, you can see, it says it's a scumbag. It's the scumbag. Um, so... We're gonna put him in here. I don't know if I, hold on. Okay, so we have Jay here. We have the scumbag. So, Jay, you're going in the scum. I just realized the printer didn't have enough ink, so there's bars on it. Kind of like the jail cell he's gonna end up in. Jay Station is now the scumbag. The, in the scumbag. I don't know. I, I don't know, it was a dumb joke. Anyway, the main point of today's video is to go over uh, the drama that he's he's been in recently. Um, that's completely his fault, and he has he's backed himself into a corner. He can't apologize because nobody has any respect for him, and it won't mean anything, but I'm gonna go over it. What's funny is I had actually made a video about the beginning of the situation, because I didn't think it was gonna go any further. And I didn't get around to editing that, like, immediately. I was gonna do it the next day, because it was getting late, and I had work to do, and <laughs> this thing blew up. It should be stated that each one of these videos is monetized, or is a re-upload of a video that had previously been monetized. I need to preface this by saying he knows his audience. Everyone knows his audience. It's children. It's very young children. Th those are the only people watching his stuff, right? Well, for some reason, he thought this was not only an acceptable but an exceptional idea um, to make a video called My Girlfriend Alexia Died Rest in Paradise and this was the thumbnail. Pretty, uh, you know, mind-blowing. It was like four and a half minutes, right, of him fake crying. He was forcing himself to cry and he couldn't get there. Um, it was pretty, pretty horribly acted. You, you know, if you watch any of his stuff, you see that he can't act. It's pretty funny. Uh, this one wasn't funny, it was just disgusting. It was really, it was just sad, actually, but not sad for the reasons that he would think. It was sad because he stooped to a level that nobody knew existed. He, if, if here's rock bottom, you need to keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going, pits of hell, go one more, J Station. It was four and a half minutes of him fake crying and plugging their second channel. It was it was a despicable way to uh, to get traction for their second channel. And it's it's funny because if you watch it at first, you don't realize that, but very very soon you you kind of see it. Just because he keeps saying he he says her her dying wish was to get one million subs on their second channel, Dream Team. 
her dream was just to get a million subscribers and we were so close to doing that guys and he keeps saying the name and he keeps saying that's all she wanted before she died also um, something I want to point out about that, that video he says that her parents and him agreed the night of their daughter's death that he should post the remaining videos that they had of each other on that channel so he was posting new content of his dead girlfriend the day after she died with her parents blessing in his words that's what that's what he says um so obviously it's fake and it's pretty awful to ever think of doing that and that's what i originally made my video about i was like uh this is awful i can't believe jay station's doing this again and it's it's disgusting a lot of people actually covered that right uh h3 ela and ethan covered it on their podcast cavos made a video a lot of people covered it after the bigger ones um i think scare started to pick up that story around like a couple days after it started as well and so like the main the main problem with this is not only how just gross it is to think of doing something like that but he, his his audience is children right they're very young children if you looked at the comments all of them were very upset they were they were affected by this they believed it so J station was virtually lying and manipulating these children uh, into believing that his girlfriend who they cared about a lot um, died which is horrible and they they don't understand that she's not actually dead because they're too young and so it's just it's really gross and like there, there's not much else you could say about that. It's just horrible. Uh, right after that, he said, like in that video, he said he wasn't going to be posting um, for a while because of how affected he is. And of course, he posted the next day. He actually posted a video where him and his cameraman go to a roadside memorial for her that it was obvious that they had set up within like 10 minutes of filming. Oh my God. <laughs> Alexia, these roses are for you. And the acting again was horrible, but then you actually see the roadside memorial, which is supposed to be where she died. I don't even know how to explain. I'll 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 put the video over this, but it doesn't look like an actual memorial. It just looks like a bunch of stuff that they put there. It, it's obviously been put there very recently because there's like snow beneath it that looks pretty fresh I think uh, I think somebody else pointed that out, but there's that um, There's all this stuff that like Jay said that he had not his uh, not her parents who are the ones who were supposedly set this up uh, He sees a post if you see a road sign It should be like this the road sign was a little bit like that and they were trying to pass it off as a deadly car accident happened there. There was no, there was no wreckage. There was no nothing. There was no debris. If an actual gigantic deadly accident did happen there, you would think that at least that portion of the road might be closed off or have debris left over or something or something, but nothing. It was just another awful attempt at manipulating his child audience again. Then only two days later, he posts another video, but this time it wasn't trying to convince his child audience that she was dead it was more like his other content only probably the worst thing I've seen besides the uh, celebrity deaths Papa guys back with another 3 a.m. challenge as you guys know my girlfriend Alexia just passed away in a tragic accident guys I cannot get over her guys I miss her so freaking much doesn't this just like scream that he misses her I mean he talks to the camera like it's blues clues we just got a letter we just got a letter we just got a letter wonder who it's from my dead girlfriend uh, soon after this, Jason posted a video trying to expose Alexia uh, for being an awful girlfriend, something like that. I'll be honest, I could not sit through it. It was about 25 minutes of him basically trying to make his child audience, who had been manipulated into thinking that she was dead, he's trying to make them feel bad for him in the situation because she is a rational, normal human being and he is a psychopath. I'll save you the time. Don't watch it. It's 25 minutes of him trying to make people feel bad for him um but it's pretty disgusting the whole the basic idea is that he's trying to make himself look better than her 
and make people feel bad for him because he's aware that the entire internet despises him. And rightfully so. Also, I don't even know uh, where in the timeline this fits in, but I'm pretty sure he uh, started this like story that the police were after him and it wasn't real and it was like, it was fact checked and it was found out that it was not real, just like everything else. Which means that he technically committed a pretty big crime uh, by having somebody impersonate a police officer and lying about being chased by the police. And Toronto, is it Toronto? I don't know, um, the city where he lives um, in Canada, the police there do not wear the same uniforms as the police officer who came to his door and people called the police departments uh, in his city and asked them if they were going after Jason and they like gave them the full name and the full reasons why he stated and they said they weren't, they said they had no file. Don't know where that fits in, I just know that I saw that on Twitter and I don't I don't know what to even think about that, but that's just another piece of this. Jason then posted another video trying to go after Alexia, which honestly, if if he could look any worse, it would be from something like that. It just it's ruining the situation that was already horrible. You know, there was nowhere else for him to go and he just he dug a little deeper. 100% wanted to do these videos because it would blow her up on Dream Team. That was our entire plan from the beginning. She really wants attention and money very, very bad. And that's what I was thinking from the very beginning. She wants money. She wants my money. She wants YouTube fame. That's why she wanted to date me in the first place. And she was down to fake her own death. Help me film these videos in order to get more attention and money on the Dream Team channel. This this is, is not okay. This needs to stop now. This is cancer. This, this is so much cancer that I can feel the tumors growing on my back. Around that time, Alexia actually posted a video trying to explain her side of things, which was kind of sad. Uh, she uh, talked about all the, you know, all the bad things, so like, all the things that Jay made her do and how, how she uh, felt in their relationship, was kind of sad. But when she posted this video, that's actually when Scarce picked up the story and did an interview with her, in which she really got to explain her side of things and clear up a bunch of drama and stuff that came along with uh, Jay Station's side. So yeah, she was pretty clear about how awful she felt throughout their relationship, how she, she felt used at some points and that she never really agreed with Jay. She didn't really want to do the things that he wanted to do. It's just a pretty bad situation, but I guess it's a good thing that Alexi is not a part of that anymore. You know, um, Jay Station's pretty, pretty scummy. He's an awful person. And uh, I don't think he's gonna rebound from this. I think his child audience is gonna keep him afloat, but I don't see him I don't see him coming back from this one. People have gone after him for the celebrity death things, and um, that didn't go well for him, but you know, this is just a whole different thing. I can't say which is worse, but I can say that all of it's awful. All right, to wrap this up, let's go over all the things that he did just in this recent controversy. So he manipulated his girlfriend into doing things that she didn't want to and mess with her head and mess with her feelings. He manipulated his child audience into believing that somebody that they really genuinely cared about died uh, and he lied to them and tried to use them for views, money, subscribers, attention, all this stuff. Uh, I just want to say one more time, he's an overall disgrace. He's a pretty awful person. After doing everything that he did to Alexia that was kind of tormenting her in that relationship and she wanted to get out, he manipulated her into that storyline of her dying for more views, more money, whatever. And then after that, he tried to make her look bad with two videos. Two videos trying to make her look like the bad one, you know, in the relationship, the one who messed up, the one who, who tormented him. And he tried to get sympathy for himself, he tried to get attention, he tried to make people feel bad for him, for his own mistakes, and all the bad things that he's done. And last but not least, he committed an actual federal crime.
I would say that this is a your whack video. Uh, Jay Station is definitely whack, but he's worse than whack, and I'm not gonna group him in. Definitely say that he's extremely whack. I don't want to group him in with people that I cover in those types of videos, though, um, because whereas they are humans, I'm not so sure about our friend Jason. Uh, he's a pretty despicable person, and I would never want to group him in with, you know, normal people who who did something dumb or acted stupid or just warranted some type of your whack video. So yeah, he is whack, but he's also a scumbag. That's why he's in the scumbag. And that's that's the recent controversy. Let me know what you want to see next. I, I might cover this if it goes any further. I hope it doesn't, you know, for both their sakes. But it's just whack. It's crazy, you know? Right, so like, I'll definitely cover this if it continues. I really hope it doesn't for all of us, for Alexia. Jay, I don't know what else he could do to make this worse, but I'm sure of all people he'd find a way. Anyway, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time. Hopefully I don't have to cover this again. <laughs>